Welcome to QuickBooks Online for Nonprofits. My name is Ufuma Ogaga. I am the founder and owner of Goshen Bookkeeping and Consultant. I specialize in serving nonprofit businesses nationwide, helping them to increase profitability one mission at a time. In today's session, we are going to focus on creating a budget inside of QuickBooks Online. So let's get started. There are three different ways to create a budget inside of QuickBooks Online. I'm going to show you the first way, which is just to create a generic budget without having to subdivide it by class or by customer. To do so, you're going to go to the gear icon. Under the tools column, you're going to click on budgeting. If you have not created a budget inside of QuickBooks, this screen will show up. Um, it is a blank screen and it will ask you to add your first budget. When you click on Add Budget, it is going to ask you to give your budget a name. So what I'm going to do is create this as Fiscal Year 2019 Subdivision. Once you enter your budget name, you're going to want to select your fiscal year that you're creating for this budget. This is actually 2019, so I am going to select 2019. The system will ask you, do you want to create your budget either on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis or a yearly basis? Most nonprofit organizations tend to create their budget on a yearly basis, so I will choose yearly. Now, the Next option that the system will ask you for is, do you want to pre-fill this current budget with actual data from the prior fiscal year? So if your nonprofit is based on a calendar year or if it's based on uh, like a June 30th kind of end of fiscal year, you have an option of selecting to use the actual data from that fiscal year as the budget for your current year and then edit you know, different account numbers, uh, different account lines that you want. In our demo, I am going to use actual data from 2018. The subdivide function, we're going to leave this as do not subdivide. I will show you the other two methods to use in the subdivide function. So we're going to leave this as do not subdivide. And as you can see, when I chose use actual data from 2018, all of my data showed up inside of this budget preview screen. So I am going to click on create a budget. Let's say you want to change an amount or maybe you really are not going to spend that amount. You're not going to receive that amount of income in and let's say we want to change it. So you can just change your amounts here. Um, let's say we don't have any discounts. Now this is a sample company file that I'm using so it will look your income and expense accounts will look different from what you're seeing on my screen since I'm using this as a sample so everything just has all the numbers that I need one thing that I will mention in this area if you are a nonprofit organization that does your budget on an annual basis and you don't necessarily take the time to do your budget on a monthly basis which is what I typically recommend for nonprofits um, QuickBooks Online will decide to take your annual amount and evenly spread that amount uh, divided for all 12 months. If you don't want that to happen, what I usually recommend is clicking on the gear icon at the side and switching to view by month instead of view by year. And as you can see, when you click view by month, QuickBooks automatically took that 3000 and divided it by 12 to make it evenly spread across all 12 months. If your income and your expenses are not consistent every single month, the same amount, you probably don't want to do this. So what you want to do is take the annual amount of your budget. If you're not going to take the time to come up with the actual income and expenses each month, what you want to do is take that annual amount and put it in the first month of your fiscal year. You're on a calendar year and your fiscal year pretty much ends December the 31st. The first year in your fiscal year is going to be January, so you're going to want to put the 3000 in the month of January here and then zero out the remaining months. And every report that you run, such as your budget and actual reports inside of QuickBooks, you want to include the month of January in that report. That way you will always see your real 
annual budget versus your one month's budget. So this is one quick tip that I have for nonprofit organizations. So once you've gone through all the process of entering your income and your expenses all across the board, you're going to click the green button here that says save and close. We're going to click on that, save and close. And once you do that, the system is going to bring you to the screen that shows the budget that we just created. One thing that I do recommend for my nonprofits once they have created their budget is to go under the action column, click the drop down icon right next to the edit piece, and click run budget overview report. So when you run your budget overview report, it's going to show you all of your budgets that you know, all the budget income and expenses accounts that you entered into the system here. It's going to show that to you. Customize this report. So if you want to say, okay, I want negative amounts to be in parentheses and in red, I want to show it without cents. You can do that as well. Um, and once you edit this, I usually recommend renaming it to say 2019 budget. Once you edit your budget report, however you want it to show, and click and save. If you have multiple team members accessing your QuickBooks file, I usually recommend saving, uh, sharing it with everybody that has access to your QuickBooks online file. This is a sample file that I'm using, so it's not going to let me choose the all option. I'm going to choose none. And if you have like groups, you can do different groups of reports, so you can give this a group name. Um, I'm going to leave that blank because I don't really need that. So we're going to click save. What that does is saves the report. So every time I want to see, okay, you know, if a board member or if your staff member asks, okay, so what is our budget for this year? All I do is come to my custom report section and you could go to the reports tab at the side, the left hand navigation bar, and then click custom reports and you will see the report that we just created today. So that is really how you can create a generic report inside of QuickBooks Online without having to use the subdivision function. In the next step, I'm going to show you how to create a budget by customer. Mm -hmm.